The gap between the submersibles of China, the United States, and Japan is like a cliff. The United States is 10,916 meters, Japan is 6,526 meters, and what about China? In the endless depths of the sea, the dark and silent seabed hides wonderful creatures and precious resources that we can hardly imagine. The mystery and attraction of the deep sea world have always fascinated scientists. To explore the mystery of this deep blue, we rely on a special equipment submersibles. In recent years, the level of submersible technology in China, the United States, Japan and other countries has become increasingly prominent. So, in this competition of deep sea exploration, who is the leader? What position does China occupy? Let us take a closer look in this video. The deep sea is the last unknown area on the Earth. The deep sea area with an average depth of more than 3,800 meters occupies more than 60% of the Earth's surface area. In this vast blue country, there are inestimable mineral resources, marine biological resources, and medicinal resources. It is estimated that deep sea oil and natural gas resources account for more than one third and one half of the global total, respectively. Marine life that survive in the extreme environment of the deep sea is expected to become an important source for the development of new drugs. However, the deep sea environment is far more complex and extreme than we imagined. Huge pressure of more than 1,000 atmospheres, low temperature close to 0 degrees Celsius, pitch black darkness. The deep sea is like an isolated, different dimension which poses an almost harsh challenge to explorers. In order to conquer the deep sea, humans need to invent a special weapon, a submersible. A submersible, as the name suggests, is a submersible that can explore and operate deep under the sea. It is like a deep sea chariot carrying scientists bravely into the deep sea. Submersibles are usually composed of pressure resistant spherical shells, propulsion systems, manipulators, lighting and camera equipment, etc. The most critical technology is the pressure resistant technology of submersibles. The pressure-resistant spherical shell is the heart of the submersible, which needs to withstand huge water pressure to protect the equipment and personnel inside. Can you imagine what will happen under 1,000 atmospheres of pressure? An egg will be instantly pressed into an omelet, and a piece of rubber will be compressed to less than 1% of its original volume. In order to withstand the high pressure of the deep sea, the cabin material of the submersible must be strong enough. At present, titanium alloy is the main material of the submersible, but scientists are still studying new materials that are lighter and stronger, such as nano-ceramics. In addition, the submersible also needs a precise navigation and positioning system, advanced communication equipment, and a durable power system. The propulsion system is its limbs responsible for underwater movement and positioning. These are all metaphysical level high precision and cutting edge technologies, which require top scientists in various fields to work together and tackle long-term problems. It can be said that the difficulty of building a submersible is no less than that of building a spacecraft. With so many difficult levels, which country's submersible technology is the best? In the world ranking of deep sea submersibles, the US limiting factor ranks first. This name means breaking all limits and challenging the limit factors. Does it sound exciting? In fact, the limiting factor really lived up to its name. In 2019, it successfully dived to 10,916 meters in the Challenger Deep of the Mariana Trench, breaking the maximum depth record of manned deep-sea submersibles. 
It is said that the average water depth of the Mariana Trench has exceeded 5,500 meters, and the deepest point is more than 10,000 meters, which is equivalent to putting Mount Everest upside down. At this depth, the pressure per square centimeter is equivalent to a one-ton object pressing on your hand. To be able to do this, the technical content of the limiting factor can be imagined. Compared with the United States far ahead, Japan, which ranks second in the world, seems a little lonely. Deep Sea 6500 is Japan's fist deep sea submersible product, with a maximum diving depth of 6,526 meters. It is 4,000 meters less than the United States. In the field of deep sea exploration, this gap is not small. However, we should not underestimate the Deep Sea 6500. It has more than 20 years of deep sea diving experience and has promoted Japan to achieve remarkable results in deep sea scientific research, resource exploration, and other fields. So how does China perform in the field of deep sea submersibles? Over the past decade, after continuous efforts, China's deep-sea submersible technology has made leaps and bounds. From the Jialong to the deep-sea warrior and now the struggler, the successive launch of this series of manned submersibles marks the leap of China's deep-sea submersible technology from following and running side by side to leading in some fields. Especially in 2020, in November 2020, China's independently developed struggler, Full Sea Man Submersible successfully landed on the bottom of the 10,000 meter abyss. The maximum diving depth exceeded 10,000 meters, breaking the world record held by the limiting factor in one fell swoop, marking that China has taken a big step towards the goal of 10,000 meter deep diving. As China's first man submersible capable of reaching the deepest part of the world's oceans to conduct scientific research and operations, the successful dive of the struggler in the Mariana Trench not only fills the gap in China's deep sea technology, but also provides valuable data for scientific research. Behind the success of the struggler are the day and night efforts and endless innovations of countless scientists and engineers. In the past three years, more than half of the world's manned deep sea missions have been completed by China, and China's actual actions have proved its strong strength in the field of deep sea submersibles. The application field of deep sea submersibles is very wide. Not only is it of great significance in scientific research, it has also helped humans find amazing geological wonders such as undersea volcanoes and cold springs, and even discovered a large number of rare earth elements and metal resources on the seabed, providing precious wealth for human sustainable development. In the Mariana Trench, scientists discovered a peculiar sponge through a deep sea submersible. They live in the deep sea of 11,000 meters, have soft bodies, and present colorful colors, just like a clown in the deep sea. This discovery not only fills the gap in human cognition of deep sea creatures, but also provides new ideas for subsequent drug development. The development of submersible technology is inseparable from the progress of materials science. The high-pressure environment in the deep sea places extremely high demands on the pressure-resistant materials of submersibles. With the advancement of science and technology, China has achieved remarkable results in the development of new metal materials and composite materials, which has greatly improved the reliability and durability of submersibles. In terms of propulsion systems and navigation positioning, Chinese researchers have also improved the maneuverability and accuracy of submersibles in complex seabed environments by continuously optimizing designs. In addition to the improvement of hardware technology, 
The regulation and operation of submersibles also require a highly professional team. Behind every deep-sea mission is the result of the tacit cooperation of scientists, engineers, and operators. In deep-sea explorations again and again, these teams have not only accumulated valuable experience, but also continuously improved technology and operating procedures, making China's deep-sea technology more mature. In the future, China also plans to develop a 12,000-meter manned submersible to achieve full-sea depth coverage. Although this goal is very ambitious, through continuous efforts and innovation, Chinese scientists are confident that this dream can be realized. In order to ensure the success of the new generation of submersibles, researchers are constantly working on technical breakthroughs, especially in deep-sea environmental monitoring, automated operation and emergency response, striving to achieve world-leading levels. The complexity and uniqueness of the deep sea ecosystem are also the focus of scientists. In addition to the sponge in the Mariana Trench, there are many undiscovered strange creatures in the deep sea. Many organisms have evolved special physiological mechanisms in dark, high pressure, and low temperature environments. Through the detection of submersibles, we can not only reveal the mysteries of these organisms, but also learn from their survival strategies and provide new inspiration for research in biomedicine, materials science and other fields. Deep sea resources have great potential, but in the process of development, we must maintain the concept of environmental protection. The deep sea environment is extremely fragile, and once it is damaged, it will be extremely difficult to recover. At present, the international community has formulated some laws and measures to protect the deep sea environment, but we still need to take into account environmental protection while exploring and developing to ensure the sustainable use of deep sea resources. Globally, the competition among China, the United States and Japan in the field of deep-sea submersibles is becoming increasingly fierce. But this is not only a competition of technology, but also a competition of national comprehensive strength. The three countries each have their own advantages, and through continuous innovation and accumulation, they have achieved fruitful results. Deep sea exploration is a common topic for all mankind, and cooperation and sharing will be the future development trend. The importance of international cooperation in deep sea exploration cannot be ignored. Through joint research programs, data sharing and technical exchanges, scientists from various countries can jointly cope with unknown challenges in the deep sea. Whether it is the application of new technologies or environmental protection strategies, international cooperation can provide valuable experience and resources, opening up broader prospects for deep-sea exploration. In general, the technological development of deep-sea submersibles not only reflects a country's scientific and technological strength, but also reflects the human spirit of exploration of the unknown world. From Jialong to Struggler, the progress of China's deep-sea submersible technology is inseparable from the efforts of countless scientific researchers. I believe that in the near future, China will definitely shine its own light on the stage of deep-sea exploration. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to our channel for more great content. See you next time.